I've lived in Dover for 23 years and I thought, Fort Burgoyne, is that, is that the Western Heights? You kind of walk over this moat and you just see this hidden world. It really was mind-blowing. Fort Burgoyne lost its reason for being almost as soon as it was finished. It was built in 1866 as a fort to defend from inland attack. But with the changes in warfare at the time, it became obsolete by the time it was finished. It was never really used in anger. But for most people, it's just been invisible because they've never been allowed in here to sort of see it and to, to, to feel it. After five years in the job, I'm still excited by it. I jokingly call it the Beast of Burgoyne. Saying to people, come and see Fort Burgoyne is something that we've not really been able to do. And yet, as an organisation, the Land Trust has community cohesion as one of its main charitable objectives. We were commissioned by the Land Trust to run a year of engagement under the Pioneering Places project to help them find a viable future for Fort Burgoyne. Yeah, the place is a scheduled ancient monument, but to keep it alive it needs to find a new purpose. The fort's quite unique in the Pioneering Places project as a whole. It's one of the only spaces that is actually currently standing, so it's really about reimagining of what a physical, almost listed space could be. During the year we unearthed a number of themes that kind of people were interested in. Craft, lost craft, and its connection with folklore. Waking the giant, the potential of the fort, the potential of Dover, uh, but then literally about recreating a parade giant through the crafts that are going on here. It's a kind of culmination of our year of engagement under the Pioneering Places project. Today is really about the richness of the history of making, giving people the opportunity to actually gauge actively rather than passively just watching something. We've had the pottery here, we're doing loads of pottery workshops and um, we've been working on raku and building raku kilns. So they've seen that whole process of the raku fire from painting something to see it going into a kiln, dealing with heat and fire and air. Just that sense of wonder on children's faces is really nice. You've got all the kids at the front. The minute I pull the clay up and I start making a pot, their eyes just light up and it's just that wow moment. And in fact, some of them are even say, wow. What's come today is, is a taste of how a creative community might work here. Each chamber has a different craft in it and it's wonderful. It's really, really good. This is such a giant to wake up. It's so huge and I think what they've done today is to give people the feel that it could actually really, really be used in the future. This place is almost ready-made to do crafts, to do metal work. I think you can have lots of creative businesses here. It's a great sort of ambience. Various events that could go on, that amazing parade ground is just made for markets, happenings, performances. We bought all of our makers and had a market so we could showcase the sort of future of what could happen up here. So it's been really exciting just testing those out. So as well as looking at activities that you could do and people can enjoy workshops, but in actual fact they can make businesses from that. It's laden with potential at this site and I think today has really, really proved that. The turnout. We had to queue for ages to get in because there were so many people. The rooms were filled, you kind of had to shuffle around, and it was great. 600 people have done guided tours around here, which is pretty much the amount we do in a year, in a day. Just by the sheer numbers coming through the gates, it's so obvious that this kind of event is really, really important for somewhere like Dover. We've taken people's postcodes, and overall, it's local people. When you're in this building today that's activated by the people who live in this area, they have breathed life literally into this building. I think this is a really important new resource to give Dover something proper, grassroots, hands-on. Everybody's left buzzing, they've all had a go at making something. I can't think of a better start for this place in its journey of reinvention.